John Renat Sonsi here for Woodworkers Journal Magazine. And today, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily cut these strong and durable dovetail joints using this miter slot guided table saw jig that I show you how to build in the July-August issue. The first step to creating these dovetails is to mark the width and spacing of the pins on the outside of all the pin boards. Remember, you're marking the narrow side of each pin using an accurate scale and a fine point pencil or a marking knife. No need to mark the angles as these are built into the jig, but you do need to mark the depth of the pin cuts. Here I'm using a scrap of wood to space my square. It's also helpful to mark the waist between pins. This will help you remember where to cut later. Also label the outside face of each pin board. To begin the cutting process, place your dovetail sled in your table saw's right hand miter slot and clamp two blocks in the slots to limit sled travel. Now use one of your pin boards to set the blade's depth of cut. With its outside face facing forward, position the pin board so that the right hand most pin mark aligns with the right edge of the blade and slide the jig forward to take the cut. Repeat this on each subsequent pin always cutting on the waist side of the line. After completing the last right hand pin cut on the board, slide the board over slightly and start removing waste, taking a series of cuts until you reach about the center of each pin. Repeat this process along the length of the board. Now you're ready to move the jig to your table saw's left hand slot and repeat the cutting process, this time cutting along the left hand mark that defines each pin. During the entire joinery cutting process, be sure to hold the workpiece firmly and slide the sled smoothly, and always cut on the waist side of each line. After you've made your final pin cut, continue removing the waist between the pins, working your way down along the length of the board. Once all the waist has been cut away, your pin board is done. Now back at the workbench, Use the board you just cut to transfer the exact size and shape of the pins to the tailboard. The tailboard should be set with its inside face facing up on the workbench, and all lines should be made with a fine point pencil or marking knife. Before lifting the pin board, slide a square up against it and strike a line across the width of the tailboard to show the depth that the tails will be cut. Finally, mark the waist area between the tails. Back at the table saw, flip your jig around so that its tail cutting ramps face forward. Use one of the tail boards to reset the depth of cut. With the jig set in your table saw's right hand slot, go ahead and cut each right hand tail mark. As always, make sure and cut on the waist side of the line. When you reach the end of the board, move the jig to the table saw's left hand miter slot and finish cutting the tail boards, cutting along the line that defines the left hand edge of each tail. An easy way to remove the waste between tails is to use a bandsaw fitted with a rip fence and a narrow blade. In the middle of the board, slide the blade into the table saw curves and use the bandsaw fence to guide the cuts. When you reach the end, flip the board over and cut away the last bit of waste. Back at the workbench, use a sharp chisel or knife to clean up the pins and tails as necessary to ensure a tight fit. When you're ready to assemble your dovetail joint, use a rubber or other soft-headed mallet to gently pound the joint components together.